I'm John Giever for MedPage Today in San Francisco at the American Diabetes Association meeting. There's been a lot of excitement about the benefits of gastric bypass surgery and banding for diabetes patients separate from weight loss. New research presented here described another approach that accomplishes the same thing without surgery. It uses a thin polymer sleeve inside the duodenum and jejunum. Dr. Christopher Sorley of the Billings Clinic in Billings, Montana, described the rationale. Yeah, because up to this point in time, it's been surgeries that have interplayed with that system or the importance of the, of the first part of the gut. So this is a novel technique without any surgery. It's all endoscopic and, and takes advantage of this neurohormonal milieu that has benefits to diabetes. Dr. Sorley then described the study. So the study was done um, in a single center in Chile at the Hospital de Preca, and it was involved. Uh, it was it was a pilot study looking at type two diabetes. So we randomized 11 patients into receiving the sleeve, and six patients received a sham endoscopy. So they actually underwent the uh, conscious sedation and endoscopy without knowing if the sleeve was actually placed. So it was a two to one ratio uh, designed to keep the sleeve in place for six months and assess the effects on glycemic control uh, in different ways. We both looked at long-term glycemic controls with a primary outcome of hemoglobin A1C and then uh, we also knew or anticipated or hypothesized that there would be an improvement immediately in blood sugars. So we looked at that by assessing fasting blood sugars, challenge to a meal tolerance test, and a seven-point glucose profile where the patients monitored their blood sugars through the course of the day. And how did it do? did wonderfully, actually. It, 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 uh, the, we saw immediate effects in terms of glycemia. Both groups lost weight. They were instructed to uh, eat a liquid puree diet, and it, it, I think it shows somewhat the power of a sham endoscopy. Uh, both the group who received the device as well as the group who had a, an endoscopy but no device placed lost considerable weight, somewhere around four and a half kilograms in the first week. But there was no difference between groups. Despite that, a remarkable improvement in blood sugar control, both fasting blood sugars as well as their challenge to either a mixed meal or their monitoring seven point profiles uh, immediately within by week one. And uh, a lot of, even though small numbers, statistical significance at week two and four for fasting blood sugars and for meal tolerance testing. Dr. Sorley explained that there is still more research and product design work to be done. This is a pilot study and we, there's so many variables that we need to explore. How long the sleeve is, and there's been a lot of animal studies looking at that. Uh, basically we know we want to bypass the whole uh, proximal duodenum, the, the first part of the small bowel, but would longer be better, shorter be better? We don't know the answer to that. We also don't know how long we can leave it in for. Uh, initial trials were three months, now we're up to six months without any trouble taking it out, and can we go longer than that? Uh, and, and those are questions we still need to answer. To sum up, a new approach to diabetes may accomplish the same goals as stomach surgery without the surgery. In San Francisco, I'm John Giever, MedPage Today.